Hello and welcome to this week's installment of Cafe Baby Bakes. This week we're trying gluten-free, plaited or braided Nutella bread, which is a recipe that comes from Gluten Free on a Shoestring, an American website um, where she does amazing recipes for gluten-free bread and other gluten-free tasty yummy treats. Um, here are our ingredients, 420 grams of gluten-free flour, which I'm using Dove's Farm, quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, half a sachet or three grams of instant yeast, 50 grams of caster sugar, half a teaspoon or three grams of salt, two thirds a cup of warm milk, two eggs beaten at room temperature, 56 grams of unsalted butter, melted and cooled, and finally 100 grams of Nutella, which we will do at the end. Um, this is our ingredients in front of us. And our handy dandy mixer, we're going to get to use our dough hook for the first time ever, and Ella will be joining me in the kitchen in just a moment to be my special mix. Hi Ella and Sammy. Hi Ella and Sammy. <laughs> Are we ready to bake? So we're going to ready yeah. get, get our dough started today. Yeah. So Sam, what do you have? You've got flour, 420 grams of gluten free flour. So Sammy, carefully point, put that into the bowl what for me. It? Carefully. Okay. Carefully. There we go. We get a bit of dust. Okay, Ella's going to put in, wait, Sammy, good boy. Ella's going to put in uh, the quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. So Ella, go. And then also the three grams of instant yeast. Brilliant. Now Sammy's going to tip in the pot of sugar. We're using golden caster sugar. Excellent, Sam. Well done. Now Sammy's going to use the whisk. Just a moment, Ella. Sammy's going to use the whisk. Here, Sam. Good, and then we're going to just very carefully mix those dry ingredients together. So just stir it a little bit. We don't want it going all over the place. Okay. Very good. Okay, Ella's going to give it a bit of a mix because we want to make sure, yeah, we keep it, keep it down. That's it. That's some good mixing. Very good. How are we doing, Sam? Good. Good. Okay, Ella? Yes? Good? Okay, brilliant. Now, Ella's going to tip in the salt. Okay, and she's going to give it another another mix. Okay, brilliant. Okay, now we need to add our wet ingredients. So Sam is going to do... The milk. Move this out of the way. Sammy's going to pour the milk in. So Sammy, pour the milk into that mixture. All of it goes in. It's a warm, it's a bit of a warm milk. Make sure all the dribbles get in. Yep. Yeah? They're all in. There we go. Good boy. Yep. Well done. Okay, so that's... Now Ella's going to do the egg. This is two eggs beaten at room temperature. Excellent. And then Ella's also going to do the melted butter. Okay, might be a little bit warm. Hopefully not too warm. And we're just going to pour it in and it should all go. There we go. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now we are going to have the okay. Can you manage? mixing bowl, yep. Yeah. Mixing bowl. Wait, please, Ella. Oh, okay, oh, we're going to put it in. Not very good at this one-handed. Hang on. Ella, stop, please. There we go. Now we've got to lock it into place. Make sure we're locked. Okay, now Ella is going to... Shut it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we've got the dough hook on. Now, let's just going to turn it on about number two. Get it started. And we're hoping this will do some lovely mixing and get everything incorporated. Never used the dough hook on our mixer before. And I think we'll probably have to do just a little bit of scraping down to pull it all together. Scraping down. It looks really eggy. We're hoping that it will start to pull together. Um, it, the recipe states that we need to put it on a medium mixing speed to then basically knead for about five minutes. So we're going to see how we go here. Yummy! It's very yummy, It's a bit of an odd texture, but that is always the case with fruits and free bread. So I'm hoping it will continue to pull together. And we will come back to you in a little bit. Hi Sam and Ella. 
Uh, I've made a quick change to my Kenwood K mix. The dough hook just was not doing it for this dough, and it still may not be doing it. However, we switched to the regular paddle, which uh, we call the Karen paddle, because it has a K on it. Um, it just wasn't wasn't pulling it in. Um, the dough hook was not pulling it in. So we're giving this a try just to properly knead the dough. Again, it's, it's just sort of spreading it out, but at least it's getting it mixed. So we're going to give this a whirl and see what happens. Hello again. Hello again. Right, so we've mixed. We've mixed this lovely what will become Nutella loaf. It's yummy. It, it should be yummy, Sammy. Uh, if you notice, gluten-free bread loaf does um, look a bit different to normal dough um, because it uh, doesn't have the gluten in it. So it is it's a much more liquidy, much more sticky, difficult to work with dough. So I'm trying a new method today, which is this gluten-free and a shoestring method. Right, mm -hmm. Ella? Yes. And and what it is 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 um, doing all this work, then popping the dough into an oiled um, bowl or proving bucket, and then popping it into the fridge to then solidify a bit and rise. Okay, it's all right, Sam. We're not going to worry about that right now. But first of all, we're going to get this into the bowl, and then we're going to get it rising. So here is our final step. And my handy dandy assistant, Ella, will hold the bowl. Mm. <laughs> and hang on. Grab in and get some dough. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, my, my handy assistants are <laughs> tasting the bread loaf, um, the bread dough. It, it probably isn't recommended to do this entirely, but. Um, I don't know, you can't keep kids out of mixing and tasting, can you? So anyway, um, <laughs> they've, they're sampling the dough, which I think tastes quite nice. And then here we've got our finished um, dough in the bowl that has been oiled. Uh, the cling film has been oiled, and now we're going <laughs> to pop it. Thank you, friends. Stop. We're, we're going to pop it in the fridge to prove. It can prove between 12 hours and 3 days, so tomorrow we'll get to working with it. So we will see you on the other side. Thanks, everyone.